while we do it. Goblin Rada. I haven't seen Rada play in Smash 4 like at all, but he's been a Game & Watch, he is a Game & Watch, and that character is very good. Finally, not Chicago realizes it. We've been, like, hot taking it for years. <laughs> exactly. Here. Like, uh, over in SFL, or, like, specifically in, like, the small, like, West Palm Beach region, that's where, like, uh, That's Rada one of Rada's stomping grounds. Like, when the game came out, well, I was meeting these guys, and they were complaining about, man, like, people don't know it, but Game & Watch is busted, man. This character's so dumb. And I was like, eh, I don't know. Everybody's uh, tier list is we've got disagreeing. We've got a... At at my old college, Northwestern, uh, it's a very small community of like talented players. Mm -hmm. We've got a guy called Nuck. No one knew who he was, even in <laughs> Chicago. He went to no events, and then he went to his like second or third ignition, got second. Everyone's like, "Whoa, who's Nuck?" And you know, we Chicago's been scared of Game and Watch forever, and now there's even more. But this character is not to be slept on. And against Krom, if he doesn't space everything at the tip, everything's getting up beat out of shield. Exactly. Thank you, Rada. <laughs> <laughs> And up out of, out of shield is hard to call out and a combo starter. It's a, uh, and it's frame three. It's got some iframes on the way up. It makes it hard to edge guard him. It's like one of the best moves in Smash Brothers. Absolutely. Not. I mean, and Rada is not afraid to spam that move. If, if you do it from ledge and just like have it go up, you can have some of the iframes go and it causes attack and people aren't ready for that. That was actually a Smash 4 game. If you upbeat from ledge and no one was ready to jab, you got a jab lock at like 10%. Yeah, also that dash attack, like crazy two frame, right? Probably not gonna happen in this matchup, but. <laughs> yeah, uh, some people are two frame by dash attack, some aren't. It's really hitbox dependent. Oh, he was like so far out that the upbeat just missed halfway. Good to know, I'll be like at the tip there. It looked like Goblin was looking for an air dodge in from Rada. Uh, and I, I noticed Krom instead of Roy. I think this is because so he can hit with more tipper aerials because Roy has to hit a little bit closer and leave himself open with these upbeats. Chrome can space outside it. It's hard, but you can. Yeah, you do not want to be a game watch in space, especially when he's in his shield. No. We already talked about that. Best out of shield option in the game. What? That's it. Was he in the spot dodge? I think so. I saw uh, the hammer on his not glowing foot. I believe he was trying to do like spot dodge down smash or something, because that does kill at this percent. It's a it's a cheeky option. Yeah. And Goblin was ready to punish the cheekiness. And that down smash, like you can you can whiff it and then just pop another one out. Yep. Uh, down smash, up smash, F smash. A lot of his smashes on shield are super safe. Uh, that was a thing in four as well. But now they're just all a little bit stronger. Down smash especially. I think uh, even Goblin does a lot of things that Krom's and Roy's like to do. They'll hit your shield like twice and then they'll back off. Yeah. Uh, I know just because Krom has to commit to all of the air mo movement he does. He's not super maneuverable. Oh, jab forward smash. Yeah, that is an incredibly early kill. And now Goblin's got a hefty lead. And I feel like if you dodge all of the specific crazy busted Game & Watch things, he does have trouble killing. I just he, saw can't go off, he can go off stage against you. Yeah. He's a pretty meme tweet with uh, Goblin talking about like jab, F smash. He's making fun of people like DI. I'm not sure if that's a DI thing or if he's actually an for OF percent for that. Uh, DIing single hits, a lot, of, a, lot of, a lot of single hit things can be DI'd, but you do it anyway because people aren't ready to react with the DI. And also, like, there's some situations, like at ledge, you're not holding out because you want to get back in. That kind of thing. So, like, sometimes people do immediate throws, and they should always DI out against some throws, and they don't, and you're happy, and you get that confirmed you only get once in the blue moon. Yeah, he's catching with the bombs now. He's, like, fading back, letting uh, Goblin approach. Well, manages to air dodge through that. Uh, three for three in the bombs. <laughs> bomb is an incredibly good move. People were sleeping on it early because it's, it's a hitbox you can beat out, but... I think every delayed projectile in fighting games that you can follow up, those are good. Those are always good. Because, you know, if they give you the space to use it how you want, it's plus frames. Everyone likes plus frames. Oh, jab back there now. One of Game & Watch's uh, weaknesses is that he is very light. He is a flat man. <laughs> Yeah, I know, uh, like, Rada has talked about, he's, like, he's scared of people, like, um, I know Sabrek a while ago, was talking about how he's learning, like, down to attack cancel back air, like, that was gonna be a good token firm against Game Watch specifically. Yeah, that right there, it looks like Goblin Man, I, I'm not sure if he goes for attack cancel back airs, because I've seen, like, a lot of RAR back airs, I, I believe that was one, too. Yeah, uh, you can, I believe you can either IRAR or attack cancel the jab bear. Uh, before the attack cancel video came out, uh, Tweak was tweeting like, how do you get that so consistently? Oh yeah, I just do this <laughs> thing with the C stick. <laughs> like, he knew about it, he just didn't really tell anyone. <laughs> it's a hell of a fun mechanic, too. Yeah. Uh, all of the good crumbs and Roy's learn that immediately, because they need it. 
are like, you're trying to tip your jab because it's a lot safer. And then you're further away, so you need that little bit of extra push. And here's a lot of secondary incoming. He's usually like a pretty hardcore um, Game & Watch main, but he messes with a lot of other characters. I've never seen him play yeah. another character. And Marth's been so. one. He'll play like Marth and Cinnaroar. Like, he plays a few stuff. <laughs> I could see it. He's the, guy, he's the kind of guy who has like the most fun on a friendly setup. Ooh. He got a little more bass in the headphones. Very cool. <laughs> oh, wow. His dare got beaten out by the up air. Let's go, Chrom. I've always thought Chrom had a smaller oh, sword. Wow. What? No. He just fast fall too. He just fast fell too hard. He didn't get the turnaround, and then man, right next to the ledge, it's still surprising. He can't let this get him tilted because he was already like secondary. This goblin, uh, like this is got to be very. Oh, he just dropped. No, shield. he's getting hit. He's getting hit. Oh. And then waits for the whiffed aerial, gets the jab back air. His mind is melted. Good conversion, though. I like watching uh, Goblin's Chrom and stuff, because like, other like lower or mid-level Chrom players that I see, like they'll, they'll run up and they'll throw out those jabs, but they don't seem like they have another plan aside from that. Oh, and he can be edgeguarded here. He can continue to be edgeguarded here. Get it? Nice try. Oof. Nice try from them both. He's talking to himself. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, no, that was that was that was self encouragement. That wasn't even talking to. <laughs> nice try, me. We'll get him next time. <laughs> Just pats himself on the back. Good job. Ooh. Wow. Ooh. Oh my god, what is he going for? Continues this advantage forever. <laughs> Runs off with a dare. Goblin. Very convincing two games from him. <laughs> he took it out of his tag, but that is a goblin <laughs> man right there.